After the great feeding of the 5,000, Jesus told his disciples to get into a boat and cross the lake called the Sea of Galilee. I'll meet you later, Jesus told them. It was time for Jesus to spend some time in prayer. As his disciples took the boat across the lake, Jesus went to a place where he could pray. Even though it was late at night, Jesus knew that prayer and time with God, his Father, was important. While Jesus prayed, a violent storm arose. The wind was fierce on the lake, and the disciples, rowing with all their might, weren't getting anywhere. Even though they had been on the lake for hours, they were unable to steer the boat and became frightened. At that moment, Jesus decided to come to the disciples. Since he did not have a boat, he simply started walking on the water towards them. In the middle of that terrible storm, Jesus walked calmly as the crushing waves roared from all sides. As the lightning flashed and the rain pelted them, the disciples looked around in confusion, wondering what to do. And then they saw something on the water. Could it be someone walking on the water? It's a ghost, they screamed in terror. Every one of the disciples in the boat was terrified. Take heart, it's me, Jesus replied cheerfully. Don't be afraid. He walked confidently toward the trembling disciples who were huddling in the windswept, wave-beaten boat. Then Peter answered, If it's you, command me to come to you on the water. Peter knew that Jesus had control over all the elements, even the weather. Come, Jesus replied. So Peter began to climb out of the boat and stepped into the water. He was doing it. He was walking on the water. He could hardly believe what was happening. But then Peter shifted his attention away from Jesus and onto the storm. He felt the sting of the strong wind. He looked at the motion of the wild waves. And then he plunged down into the water. Lord, save me, Peter yelled. Quickly, Jesus grabbed Peter and pulled him back, helping him into the boat. Jesus looked at his disciples. Why do you have so little faith? Why do you doubt so easily? Jesus asked. Then Jesus stepped into the boat himself, and right away, the night became calm. The air went still, not even a hint of the terrible wind and storm they had experienced. The disciples in the boat were astonished. Their terror was gone, and they started worshiping Jesus. Truly, you are the Son of God, they whispered in adoration.